It's David. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Again, I I well, love that this is our persona when we begin this this premium YouTube based web series. I don't know what. We're <laughs> I feel like Alexis Rose, my critically reviewed limited rea limited edition reality series. Yeah. I love that we blew it right out of the gate because right before we started recording, we decided how we're going to record and who's yep. going to start yep. and then <laughs> turn, the, turn the thing on and both just jabbered like lunatics. And more importantly, I want to point out that we have never pretended to be professionals. <laughs> and worse, perhaps worse, is that we are actual professionals in jobs that are really just sort of best handled by adult children. So, like, <laughs> we are in some ways both professional writers. I'm a professional academic. You are an actual professional writer for the for the for the entertainments. And so, we are actually just children in adult suits who are I mean, still not sure what taxes are. I don't. We don't talk about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't know her. Yeah. My least favorite thing about the new year is that immediately yep. the tax yep. commercials start, and I, every time I see one, I'm like, "Jesus!" Do you break out a cold sweat? Just yes. Like a cold sweat. <laughs> I have flashbacks of being a, a 24 year old who made sixteen thousand dollars a year as a graduate student. And you would think this would be like, finally, I'll get some money back. No, when you make no money, you have no idea. It's, no. Like, so, and I'm, I'm, that's 15 years ago, but it's still this sense of like, I break out in this cold sweat of like, I, what if I've done it wrong and I'm going to jail? The amazing thing is every time I do them, I have all of the anxiety leading up to it. And then I go in, I have my appointment, run through all the numbers. And the guy's like, hey, you're getting this much back. And I'm like, why? Why? Why was I so upset about this? <laughs> this is what happens yeah. every year. Mm -hmm. And well, I don't, my brain refuses to learn that lesson. So uh, my challenge to you, my yes. spicy baby, is to remind you that you should probably file your taxes before my 40th birthday, which in case you have forgotten, it's April 3rd, 1984. So I have to go birthday. back in time to file my taxes. You do. My birthday is April third, nineteen eighty four. My fortieth birthday is April third, twenty twenty four. But thank you. That was that was grammatically unclear on my part. Thank you. <laughs> so you have you have five weeks. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna check Wait, in. You want you want me to turn them in early, or did they move the date back? No, I want you to turn them in early. I want you to do them before the. <laughs> Who turns things in early? No one. No one. What is wrong with you? You are like you know why? Do you know why I want you to do this, my sweet wow. Davide Rapasaurus? So I can get my because return I... and we can go to Jamaica. Uh, do you, is there like is that a restaurant in like Los Feliz? Because let's be realistic about how much you're getting back. Um, uh, but more importantly, <laughs> yeah, and I want you to move through this anxiety cycle faster so that I can see you on the relief end. That's what I want. <laughs> That's because I'm your friend and I love you. Oh, so. thanks. Yeah. So um, this uh, overshare of our lives, once again, has been brought to you by uh, me, TJ Tally, and this guy. Me, Dave Rep. And together, we are the... Brohawks. Brohawks. <laughs> Good. Good. Just... Good. Sufficient. Sorry, I, need, I need to take uh, a pause there to criticize myself internally for my stupid line delivery of my own name. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I... One of the things is like this being episode 64, this should not still be fun. This should feel tedious. This should feel absurd. I love doing this with you. It's nonsense. So um, the weirdest thing is like uh, just for the the zero percent of you that have never seen this before and they're just tuning in. Hi, um, we are two uh, former Jeopardy champions from 2020 and 2022, respectively, season 37 and 38, who then got brought back um in the uh wild card uh champions tournament this past fall we got to compete it was very lovely we did not win in our bracket because otherwise we would be in this tournament of champions however we did do well enough and we had a great time and so we've been covering for the last few episodes um all of these wild cards and now the final big mama of this the tournament of champions yes. now because dave is cooler than i and actually got his shit together Dave um, actually managed to go and cheer on our friends and beloved ones 
um, when they filmed earlier this month at the TOC. So one of the fun parts about this is what we used to do is that it was us talking about what the behind the scenes were like. So we're going to rely upon the um, our budget human torch here to actually talk about what this experience was like. So please talk about your episodes. I know that this is now the third episode of the TOC, so this is still pre-lunch break. Um, everybody still feels that frisson of energy. It's a it's a rainy Tuesday in February. Um, what was it like being in there? <laughs> I mean, first of all, I have to take issue with you saying I have my shit together because that was not the reason I'm there. I was there because I'm a local. I live in Los Angeles. And I called up uh, the incredible con contestant coordinator, John Barra. And we he, love you, John uh, Barra. Pa pawned me off on Ellie Pulaski, who actually gets who things is, done there. <laughs> well, that's crazy, but Ellie is literally always our contact person for most of yes. us. So, yeah, good call. And those two amazing people helped, uh, helped us. Uh, diamonds out and got a few of us in there and um yeah i was crazy excited um it, it was it kind of didn't even occur to me that so many other champions would be in the audience i was just excited to go and see emily play our queen of diamonds and right. uh and just all i knew it was going to be a great tournament overall so um, you know, and amazingly enough, she was the very first game of the day and came out mm -hmm. and, and totally crushed it, as we saw. Crushed it. <laughs> and then the second game up is the game yesterday's episode with Chris Panulo and Ben Goldstein and uh, and Jared doing his amazing, like, holy moly, just, you know, we talked about it yesterday, but the energy in the in the crowd like I just looked around, you know, uh, I, I was there with Brian Adams from our group and he and I just exchanged dumbfounded looks. And then I caught Emily's eye when she was sitting with her husband and we we're like, what just happened? What just happened? You know, I mean, the amazing Sam Buttry was there, who is such a nice guy. And like, oh, my God, I like it. Was, it was truly like one of my highlights was meeting him. Uh, and um I mean, a, a bunch of the guys from uh, last year's tournament champions were there and sitting behind me, and I literally just turned around. I was like, I'm going to be part of your conversation now <laughs> because uh, you guys are fascinating, and uh, I'm bothering you. Right? But um, So it was, yeah, there was just so much energy and fun in the crowd, and the first two games were amazing. Even though they were runaways, they were still really exciting. Sometimes you get a runaway, and you're just like, eh, you yeah, know, whatever foregone mm -hmm. conclusion and these games were like what is happening um which leads us into today's game i don't want to give away too much but it's another good group of people and uh very exciting to watch it's gonna be really really good and i am sort of like overwhelmed at how much i like i like all all three of these people right so like the day sibley's great um i have a very personal just sort of like young Sheng is like the the uh, queer person of color that I want to be when I grow up. Like, I'm just like, oh, you're just amazing. And again, I love a bow tie. So I'm just actually, I'm really thrilled about seeing all three of them. So this is going to be such a, let's, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Here we go. From the Alex Rebeck stage at Sony Picture Studios, this is the Jeopardy Tournament of Champions. Please welcome our third group of Jeopardy champions. A deputy public defender, yeah, a rich man, Lafayette, Louisiana. This is so cool. So cool and nerdy. From Walla Walla, Washington. I love that he's like, what? A freak? Here? And a puzzle designer from Chicago. I mean, yeah. I didn't tell you earlier. Hannah is delightful. And a puzzle designer, leather jacket. Anybody who grows up on the Jeopardy stage wearing a leather jacket. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Welcome back to our tournament of champions. I want a Hannah and Deb matchup. Like, Hannah and Deb are the lady brothers. 21 game champ, Chris Canudo. The leather siblings. The leather siblings. I don't want to. You know, run away. Gender dynamic. Jared Watson. It just goes to show that anything can happen out here on the Alex Trebek stage. Oh, there's a black kid, so it's my Cameron favorite. David and Lucian back with us. Good luck, champs. <laughs> here are your categories in the Jeopardy round. We begin, appropriately enough, with inaugural addresses. Then we have clothes, classical mythology. Ooh. We go from there to television, antonymic pairs. 
I still like and finally mythology, some even though I, I, know. Blew one of, I blew a big daily double. Hannah, what strikes your fancy? <laughs> you just do little known facts for Yeah, come on. Friend. Little on December 10th, 1961, Project Gnome in this state's Eddy County became the first nuclear test designed for peaceful purposes. Hannah. Nice what is Nevada? Nevada? No. David or Young? New Jersey? No, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Like the first yeah. Oh, New Mexico. Mexico. Back to you, Hannah. Uh, little Gnome Facts for a Thousand. One of this composer's pictures at an exhibition is the gnome. David. Who's Mussorgsky? That's right. Uh, I, I have never heard of that word before. He didn't believe that the Great Society is the ordered, changeless, and sterile battalion of the ants. Is that LBJ? David? Who is Lyndon Baines Johnson? Yes. Oh, uh, oh no, my God, no, full name. In 1969, Nixon was referring to this Apollo mission when he said, astronauts flew over the moon's great David. surface on Christmas Eight. Eve. <laughs> David? What's Apollo 8? That's right. Inaugural 600. Answer. <laughs> <Here we double. laughs> You're off to a fast start, David. There How you big do you want to risk here? As salt and pepper oh. would say, let's push it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first Episcopalian pastor I've ever heard quote salt and pepper. Here is your clue. Uh, 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 Taft talked of the building of this, Italy. controlled by Colonel Gothels and his fellow army engineer. That's the Panama, That's Canal. The Panama Canal. Salt and pepper were right. You have $5,600. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> Close for a thousand, please. If the fellows Ooh, baby, are wearing baby. lederhosen, the gals are wearing this type of dress. With a German word for that. Why is that a thing that we both got? Is it yeah. Dernzal? Yes. Uh, close rate 100. <laughs> We're very cool. Dernzal. <laughs> its name literally means belt or sack. Obi. <laughs> what is an obi? Right again. Close We're going to be such nerds for clothes. Let's made just do it. Made from heavier material than a polo, the shirt named for this sport usually has rugby. stripes, long sleeves, yeah. and a white collar. Hannah, what is a running shirt? Correct. Close for 400. You're the jewel. Though the name sounds friend. like you run Don't slowly in them, these lounge pants have a slimmer fit than sweats and a cinched ankle. David. Joggers. What are joggers? Oh, yes. joggers. Uh, television, 800. <laughs> Asa Butterfield offered relationship advice to his schoolmates in this Netflix series. Good Young show. Shin. What is Good sex show. education? Correct. Classical mythology for a thousand? And we got our new doctor. After her daughter Persephone was abducted, <laughs> you roamed the earth for nine days without eating, drinking, or bathing. Demeter. Yeah, who is uh, Demeter. Demeter. Right again. Classical mythology for 800. I almost said Siri. Known for his wisdom, this centaur instructed some of the greatest heroes, including Jason. Hannah. David Rapp. Who is mentor? I'm sorry, no. Uh, David or Youngshin? Chiron? Chiron. Is Chiron. the centaur you Damn want to it. go to. Chiron's Back to you, Youngshin. Uh, television for 1,000. Annoying. In the miniseries Feud, Capote versus the Swans, a top swan is Naomi Watts as Babe, wife of this CBS honcho. Youngshin. Who is Les Moonves? I'm sorry, no. I thought it was Les Moonves too, but that was too, or less too late. Time, this is William S. Paley. Youngshin, yeah. select. Uh, Class Paley mythology Center. for 600. One legend said, these warrior women cut off their right breasts the to make it easier to use their bows. Youngshin. Who are the Amazons? Yes. Television for 600. Natasha Leone solves a mystery a week Poker in this 2023 face. series <laughs> named for a useful <laughs> feature face. when playing cards. Anna, what is poker face? Poker face. Also, Natasha Leone. Yes, Another, another again, another Natasha Leone. Poker face. Like right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. 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 Yeah, so I couldn't go home for Christmas because of work, and my mom was like, oh, that's totally okay. And she immediately sent me a link to a Gucci purse that she wanted me to buy for her. <laughs> and she told me, you could afford it now. <laughs> and my aunt got in, into the game and wanted a pair of Gucci mules, which she also, I also probably bought for her. And I was like, well, Dad, what do you want? Do you want something Gucci too? He's like, no, that's a waste of money. Just give me cash. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with Jeopardy winnings, is they are not secret at all. Yeah. Everyone knows no. to the cent what you got. Including the IRS. I would say, including the government. Washington. Tell me about how Ed Sheeran changed your life. Dave. That guy. <laughs> so on game day, I got a ride share to the studio, and the driver was playing Ed Sheeran song after Ed Sheeran song after Ed Sheeran song. And I just, a... I couldn't stand it. I was ready for anything else. And so I get to the studio and I start playing and there's a one named rockers category that comes up and there's a guy who comes on the screen with sort of reddish hair, looks youthful and it's my nemesis, he must be vanquished at all costs. Uh, the words come out of my mouth and it's, 
oh my God, I've made a terrible mistake, because it was Beck, who is not Ed Sheeran. But for that, uh, I managed to make it into Billboard as making a hilarious mistake, which I think makes me the first uh, priest uh, in uh, Billboard's website at least since uh, Father John Misty, I have <laughs> questions about his ordination. <laughs> <laughs> Your style seems very different from Father John Misty's, David. Welcome back. That felt hey, like a homily a that I needed. From Chicago. <laughs> Tell me about how you prepped for the Tournament of Champions. I understand you got some help. Yeah, so pop culture is not my strongest category. Um, and my wife was trying to train me up. So she sent me a picture of Ice Spice every day, just like a different picture, nice. and just said, who is this? Until I said, that's Ice Spice. Wait till you see our is this or an Ice Spice or not category. <laughs> I'm, nice. I'm hoping that's Final Jeopardy. It's coming but, up for yeah. <laughs> yeah, Final Jeopardy will be a weird video clue. Is this Ice Spice? You have control of the board right now, Hannah. Let's get back into the round. Those All right, let's do uh, uh, antonymic pairs for yeah. a person. President James Garfield is quoted, the best thing that can happen to a young man is to be tossed overboard to do this pair. David, sink what's swim. sink or swim? Right. Antonymic eight. On the front of a dollar bill, it says it is legal tender for all debts owed in these two ways. Public or private. Anna? What are public and private? Correct. Antonymic pairs for six. You're doing good, baby. The ingredients to make this type of yeah, Chinese I, chicken I dish may include this, sugar, this sugar all... and distilled vinegar. Young shit. What is sweet and sour? Correct. Better get that right. <laughs> uh, let them know facts for 600. The gnome beverages of choice include spiced gin as a nightcap and this made of fermented honey. Mead? Yeah. What is mead? Gnomes love mead. Uh, little known for 400. In 2023, gnomes were a popular shape for these alliterative baking items whose name implies uniformity. Cookie cutters. Hannah. What are cookie cutters? Very good, yes. Little known for that. Swiss <laughs> bankers were seen as hoarding gold <laughs> underground and disparaged as gnomes of this city, the country's financial center. Geneva? Okay. With Zurich. You're right. Uh, inaugural of four. James K. Polk said, this republic has made known her desire to come into our union. And it did, Texas. nine months later, on December 29th, 1845. David? What's Texas? That's right. I and love the air quotes for no reason. He pointed out <laughs> that his father might not have been served at a U.S. restaurant less than 60 years earlier. Is it Barack David? Obama? Obama. Yeah. <laughs> Mythology, four. Depicted here with Apollo, the sisters who presided over the arts and sciences had this collective name. Young the Muses. Were the Muses? Yes. Uh, television for 400. Two year old widower Gary Turner was the title figure of this recent reality competition Cleo's the on ABC. Cleo is the advertising award. Hannah, who's the Calliope golden bachelor? Yes. The best music. Antonymic pairs for 400. <laughs> Cleo is the music. Up a graphic <laughs> phrase to describe a graphic ah. pattern of highs and lows, like electricity usage over the course of a whole year. David, what's a contour map? That's not correct. <laughs> peaks I love and valleys. Those yeah. would be peaks and valleys. You got it. You got it. After a no, while, you remember the category. Perfect. That's you and me. This David is up. The train station Absolutely. has all kinds of items left behind, as seen lost here. Lost and found. David, what's lost and found? Yes. Why is there a puppy? In 2023, yeah, puppy is, Kelsey Grammer returned really as this title psychiatrist <laughs> back in Boston and teaching at Harvard. David, who's Fraser Crane? You got it. Close. David is really good at the back of the He's skirt. The coat might have a kick one of I these mean, folds of fabric. It allows I've said more movement. Before. Anytime David, the people do the, no, below the podium, I'm always like, there's some uh, mystery juju going on under there that Here's I can't see. Here's your final see. clue in classical <laughs> mythology. Zeus so plays good. Castor and Pollux in the heavens as this constellation. Gemini. Gemini. What is Gemini? Because they're twins, yes. You have $3,800, half of David's total. Young Shin will select first in double jeopardy. That's coming your way after this quick break. I like that side. <laughs> I mean, David did very well there, especially the finish out the round. But it's still... Oh, I Let's forgot to look for my mom. You'll be selecting first in these I categories. But I emotionally... Do you want to, do you want to go back? We can pause. We got time. We'll begin with the letter B. <laughs> We're not going to Then, <laughs> hey, where is that? Artists on film... I have only so much ego that I can share with the world. The rest is all. Like, like, Diane and Tally will be like, finally, ah, keep it moving, guys. Finally, a nice <laughs> short story is about to also, be... Also, hi, Mom. Five times. <laughs> Young Shin, you hi, select. Mom. Uh, artists on film for 2000. Yes, darling. That was Zsa Zsa Gabor playing dancer Jane Avril to Jose Ferrer's toulouse Lautrec in this 1952 film. Moulin Rouge? Moulin Rouge. That was the earlier film called Moulin Rouge. Young Shin? Artists on film for 1600. That's going to be a pretty follow-up. Paris found Owen Wilson's character bumping into Salvador Dali, portrayed by this Oscar-winning actor. Adrian Brody? Who is, uh... Oh. 
Hannah? Who's Brody? It is Adrian Brody, yes. Oh, uh, so, I saw it on Facebook like it. So Nautical speaking, it's the case there, where the ship's actually, compass is kept. Uh, uh, young Shane, Hannah, what is that been a call? Well done, 2003. Meetings for 16. The a long after the buzzer went off, this marsupial they, uh, uses its schnoz it to get at insects in holes. Hannah. What is a bandicoot? You're right. Beginnings for 12. Answer there. <laughs> Bailey Double. It's a hard thing for And you just moved in the first place, Hannah. Oh, yeah. Let's do 7,000. Almost every oh my God. in B beginning. I mean, it's B. Clue. I like you, so you know a what it's Norse God be. begins this word that means a nonsensical jumble. Balder Dash. There what you is Balder Dash? That's correct. You have an even 16,000. Oh, God. Uh, wow. Big. Let's go to where is that for 2,000. Answer. There we go. What? You found them back to back, Hannah. That means you have a lot more to wager now, should you so choose. Wow. Um, let's do 10,000. Oh, that would oh be. Oh, my God. Here's your clue in where is that? A research center established by Jane Goodall, a national park in Tanzania named for this stream. DJ? What is Olduvai? I'm sorry, no. Oh, That's I a very tough clue. The Gombe stream. What is oh, I Gombe? Gombe as well. Once again, the game is close. Back yeah. to you, Hannah. I mean, Where is that for 16? Talk about a roller coaster. Eight versions right of Monet's that water lilies. <laughs> this museum in Paris's Tuileries Gardens. David? What's the Monet? Oh, Monet. Yeah. Sorry, no. <laughs> Hannah, okay, what's dude. the orangery? That's correct. Uh, where is that for 12? Winnie the Pooh's home. The forest surrounding this wood. 100 acre, acre. 100 acre wood? Correct. Uh, a nice. Short story spoiled for 2000. Turns out O. Henry's ransom of him ends up costing the kidnappers 250 bucks just to get the dad to take the kid off their hands. It's called the ransom of Red Chief. Ah, uh, oh, nice sure. short story spoiled for 1600. Sorry. In oh, this oh, John Cheever story, uh, Nettie makes his way to the pool to his own Ohio, home. But my, like his my life, dad is, it's dark and empty. I should have known that. David. What's the swimmer? Correct. Awards and honors too. The Man Who Ate Too Much is a biography of this American whose foundation gives awards to outstanding chefs. Oh, David. it's James Beard. Yes. That's it. I was like, like a picture. <laughs> Egypt's Katara Depression formed okay. a natural barrier to protect this northwestern city from Rommel's advance in World War II. Right. David? What's El Alamein? 2000 for you. Oh, uh, sure. Depression, yeah. 16. The Afar Depression in the Horn of Africa is part of this great fault system. David. What's the Great, Great Rift Valley? Yes. Yeah. Uh, awards and honors, 16. Oh, David, just like, never David mind me, I gotta win this medal now. is given to an American <laughs> under age 40 who works in this field. Economics. Paul Krugman won in 1991. David. What's economics? Yes. Awards and honors, wow, 12. He's on it. A humanitarian award presented at the Oscars is named for this Danish actor who played the grandfather in the 1937 film Heidi. Yeah, this will this will bring, bring the proceedings to a Herschel screeching halt. The humanitarian <laughs> award. David. Depression's 12. I'm glad no one knew that. This depression on the southern side of Haiti sounds like a dead-end street. Cul-de-sac. It's cul-de-sac. Right. Depression's 8. In 1964, astronauts spent a few days honing their survival skills in this state's Carson Sink. Nevada. Nevada. What's Nevada? Right. Beginnings 8. He's Two terrifying. hair untangling right? tool is in this word oh, like, for this someone who hits up the playa with a metal I'm detector. In the zone. Hannah. What is it, beach comment? Right. Uh, they get for four. <laughs> Ruining it. <laughs> this word once meant a sweetheart of either sex, then a oh. male pal, and then it took a turn into an intimidator on the playground. Oh, bully. Is it a bully? Correct. Uh, artist wow. on film for 1200 Star Ed Harris directed Marsha Gay Harden to a Best Supporting Actress Oscar Pollock. as Lee Krasner in this 2000 Pollock. biopic. David. What's Pollock? Yes. That's a good uh, one. Artist on film. I like that movie. In yeah. Factory Girl, Guy Pierce played this artist, whose first factory was a studio on the street. Hannah. <laughs> Who is Andy Warhol? Right. I want us both to play Andy Warhol in a, the in a sketch. The semicircular canals, this part of the human body. Hannah. What is the ear? ear? Right. Where is that for four? Protons and neutrons, this part of an atom. Hannah. What is the nucleus? The nucleus. Are in the nucleus. Depression. You can see that Yongsheng knows the all of this. The depression in the Uyghur Autonomous Region of is course. this country's lowest point. If someone does not get China right now. Level. Young Shin. Which China? Yes. A nice short space <laughs> 1200. Why this celebrated amphibian weigh five pound and belts the down a double handful of shit? The jumping frog of Calaveras Anna. County. Who is the jumping frog of Calaveras County? That's correct, Mark Twain. Um, okay. Short story for 800. Take the rest of the day off, Columbo. The murderer gives himself up in this Poe story. The telltale off and off a body heart. part. Diana Tally, I know Anna? you knew Where's that. You yelled at the screen. Yes. Short, <laughs> a short story spoiled for 400. 
after a long, unplanned, but very restful nap away from the fam yeah, and the 2019 Winkle? tale, he finds he just likes being single again. Hannah. Who is Rip Van Winkle? Yes. Um, awards and honors for 800. This highest French order was founded in 1802 by Napoleon. David? Legion d'honneur? Legion d'honneur. Legion d'honneur. Yes, Legion of Honor. Uh, Wars <laughs> for. This foundation's fellowships, the so-called genius Mega. grants, are no strings attached awards of $800,000. I want one of There's them. MacArthur Foundation. That's right. And the last clue, artists <laughs> on film. The 2018 film At Eternity's Gate starred Willem Dafoe as this artist, and Rupert Friend as his brother Theo. Oh, Van Gogh. Oh. Van Gogh. It is Van Gogh, yes. You have 3,200 now as we head into final Jeopardy. Oh, Young Shang is hard, baby. That's just hard. They're just buzzed off. Let's off. see what the category yeah. will be. Military history. And we'll be back with the clear. I feel you like you know who needs to do this together. The Gestalt of me and Phil. Phil you can stay Phil and I combined. <laughs> We'd be like, to get like one or two is activate form like of the latest animals. on upcoming tournaments. You'll and also get consistent features and more behind the scenes. But by the way, people, if there's anybody watching who hasn't been today, a contestant on Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Forward no slash stakes at best. It'll be you and the Tournament of Champions. We're going to stop doing all these tournaments and it'll be you two. Quarter final match so far in the tournament and military history is the final Jeopardy category. Here's the clue. A prototype of this craft was deployed in August 1955. It made headlines in oh, May 1960. I got this one. 30 seconds, <laughs> players. Good luck. So the fact that I got this one should be a hit to you. Yeah. And it also involves some sort of stupid aerospace nonsense. Um, it should be a hint to you. Oh! <laughs> well, it would make sense May of 1960 since it shot down then. Yeah. <laughs> Young you Ben Wong had yeah. $3,200 heading into final. His response? What is the U-2? Yes, the spy plane that was shot down over the Soviet Union in 1960. And a shout out to Chris. Very nice. So you're going to add, you're going to double it. $3,200 more for you, bringing you to 6400 Good job, Young Shang. Hannah and Wilson man, was in second I love, place I love after this the Daily call. Double Drama. $13,200. That, that Did it's she perfect. think of the U-2 spy plane? She did. She's correct. And she wagered... Big. $13,195 will take her to $26,395. And for the moment, the lead. David Sibley had 18,800. Pretty good poker face there, That's Pastor. A great Let's poker see what your face. response How's was. He not smiling. What is the U2? He got it. He wagered big enough. 7601 will just do it. 26,401. By six dollars, David, you are headed Woo! to the summer. Look at this. Look, look at this. <laughs> oh, love the hugs. Love the hugs. That was, a, that was a great thing. So a lot of fun. No way. Thank you, guys. And we'll be right back here on the Alex. Somebody Jeffrey calls his wife oh. Nora Bug, which may be the cutest thing I've ever heard. Okay. I love that his, he calls his wife Nora Bug, which I think is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Unless she actually is just a large bug. And you know what? God bless if that's the case. But I don't think you know so. what? Another, like, there was a lot that happened in that game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, again, know. oh my God, can we just have a moment for Hannah? Like the, I would have said Old Dubai. I did say Old Dubai, and I have a whole PhD in this. Like, oh my God. Like to me, because I'm much more of a uh, wordy, you know, the, the, the category beginning. So start, I know it starts with a B and it's a mid-level question. So I totally, I totally understand making the big wager there. But the but then getting the double, daily double again and also going big like that's a category nobody's been in yet so you don't right. really know what it's about it was a it was yeah. a bottom level question it was a what sixteen hundred yeah um I mean that wasn't even a roller coaster that was the you know that was mm -hmm. the jobber that just goes straight up and down <laughs> yeah, was... it was it was a... <laughs> no. yeah uh but it she seemed almost completely unfazed because she came right, she back. Went right back in. No, and also, there was no pause in her game. And she should have done that because she, like us, realized how what a buzz saw. I mean, David Sibley is the Emily of the buzzer. And so there has to be that moment of yeah. choo choo, like um, she had to put that cushion in. It'll be interesting to see if David and Emily go up against each other, how that looks. Yeah. Say nothing. I, I won't say a thing. Thank I will you. just say, yeah, like, 
David just really got in one of the best grooves that yeah, I see. Yeah, they were beautiful to watch. Yeah, yeah. And Young Shang did everything he could to hang in there. I, I yeah. love him. He was awesome. Uh, but boy, do I feel for him because I know what yeah. that's like to just not be able to get in. <laughs> well, I mean, that was me um, versus Aaron and Leah, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm really good at the buzzer. Like, I just, it just, like, some and also some rounds are not yours. Like it just, it was just a yeah. But he he played such a great game and again made it to champions and then won champions and then you know I he should feel so proud. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and again, literally somebody that I resonated with as someone. I was like, you are an amazing group of color that is killing it, and I love seeing it. So yeah, yes. it was delightful. So yeah. Young oh, Shang, if you watch or if anybody you know watches, tell him we want him to come on the show still. <laughs> yeah, we definitely still want him Anytime. to come on the show. Anytime. Always maybe. welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. It was a good one, baby. This is always fun. I love that we get to do this. So Yeah. Same. Yeah. I can't wait until you cut this off in the middle of me speaking. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Come on. You know me better. You've done it every